Margie, and welcome to my kitchen. What I've made for you today are these date pinwheels. And this is a Christmas slash Thanksgiving cookie. I'm gonna be bringing some of these to a friend's house on Thanksgiving. And one of the nice things about this cookie is that when you make it, it needs to be refrigerated before you bake it because you'd have to slice it and it needs to firm up. So you can really bake this cookie anytime you want. So if you have these cookies rolled up in your refrigerator in the log and ready to slice, anytime you're going to go somewhere or you want to make a gift for somebody, you can make fresh cookies. That's sort of like going to the grocery store and buying any one of those tubes of dough that's already pre-made and bringing it home and slicing it. But only the, di the only difference here is these are homemade. So join me in a moment. I'm going to get started and show you how I made these date pinwheels. I have very soft dates and I've just taken the pits out. Just going to make a line through your date, pull it apart, take the pit out. Check the back side of the date to make sure that there isn't a very dry, like right here. I'm going to take that out. And I need to have three quarters of a pound of dates. I boiled some water and I put a scissor in the water and I'm just going to cut these up a little bit. The water is just to help so they don't get so sticky. They don't stick to your scissor. Here I've got a third of a cup of water and I have a third of a cup of sugar. So I'm going to put it on a medium heat and I'm just going to start to stir this. It's going to get very soft and very like a paste almost. Do you see how this is turning into a like a paste? I'm going to need to spread this on the dough so you want it to really get cooked down to something thick. I'm going to use this Frenching knife just to chop these up and I want them to be pretty fine as well because remember we're spreading this. So I'm going to wait for the dates to cool down a little bit and then we'll go ahead and put these nuts into the dates. Now that this is cooled, just stir them in evenly. And refrigerate it. When it's time to roll out the cookies, We'll take this date nut filling and we'll take it out of the refrigerator so it warms up a little bit, so it makes it easier to spread. Let me show you the ingredients that go into the dough of the date nut pinwheel. We have a half a cup of butter and one egg, one cup of packed brown sugar, a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. This is one and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour. I'm just going to add all the dry ingredients in here and give it a stir. And now we're going to put these ingredients together. We're going to put the butter in first. And the sugar. the egg, and the vanilla extract. And we'll bring that together. I'm going to scrape it down. And 
And now I'm going to add the flour, the baking soda, and the salt. It'll start to pull away from the sides of the bowl and come together. And that's just a sign that it's really well, it's going to be a nice dough. So that looks very nice. Now we'll bring this together into a ball. How nice that dough is. I'm just going to bring it into a ball. I'm going to cover it with saran wrap and I'm going to refrigerate it. We're going to be rolling it out, so let's put it into a shape that is, will be easy to roll out later. Now that the dough has been refrigerated, we're ready to roll it out. Also, I've taken everything out of the refrigerator and pretty much let it get warmer so I can work with it. As you'll see down in the bottom of the screen, I have flour and I have sugar. I have half flour, half sugar mixture there pretty much. It helps my dough from not sticking to the board. Flour will do that too, but I like to use a little of both. So while you're rolling this dough out, in order to have as many cookies as possible, make it very long from side to side and narrow from front to back. Keep moving the dough around on the board, put more flour and sugar under it. And here I'm putting little dollops of dates, the filling, all over. And try to get it all the way out to those ends, then you'll have dates in the end of your cookies, the cookie logs, so you'll have really nice cookies, even at the ends of your log. Now there I'm using the back of my spoon just to spread that mixture and spread it all the way out to those far ends. And when you roll this up, you also are going to roll it on the very long side. Otherwise, you'll have a tremendous cookie. Now, this is going to be refrigerated. Probably just a few hours, maybe overnight would be best. You want that cookie to be nice and firm when you slice it. And while you're refrigerating it, just the first hour or so, like every 20 minutes, if you have the time, just give it a little spin. That will help the cookie to stay around because right now it's pretty soft. So turning it a little bit every 20 minutes or so will help that. So you're just going to go in the refrigerator. There's parchment lined cookie sheets. And there's my refrigerated log. I'm going to show you what it looks like when you slice it. This is always very exciting. This always looks so pretty. Isn't that cool? Now here I'm going to roll up the other half of the log. Now when you're cutting the cookies, Cut them a quarter of an inch thick and bake them at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for between 8 and 10 minutes. And be careful because the dough is a little darker because of the brown sugar. So you want to make sure that you don't underbake them for that reason. They should be very golden brown. You don't have to slice and bake all the cookies now. This dough, this roll, will last in the refrigerator for weeks. Just slice and bake them whenever you need them. You'll have nice, fresh cookies. We got about 50 cookies out of this recipe. 
Now here they are all baked. Well, not all of them, but they're baked here. <laughs> and I can tell you that I think that this may be one of your best cookies on your cookie tray because of the dates are just so popular. Thank you for joining me today. And I hope you have a wonderful holiday. If you liked our videos, please subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell below so you know when we put up a new video. Bye.